it's Jody. I have a new process video for Confessions of a Paper Addict Cut Files. Please head to the shop for all your cut file needs. This one is brand new. It is called Sun and Sea and I am continuing with my 6x8 album of our cruise ship. This picture was actually at the end of the cruise. We were at um, Coco Cay, so that is the Royal Caribbean's um, private island where you know most of their cruises stop at once during their trip. So it was our last stop before we headed back to Florida. And it was a very overcast day, and it was our only uh, beach day. So I was a little bummed we didn't get to uh, frolic and tan as much as I wanted to, but we did get out and have a little fun. The water was perfect. Um, actually, my husband rented a little cabana bed. So we had the bed and some chairs and umbrella and water and towels and floaty mats. So it definitely was, um, it was nice, but the rain and the clouds um, did damper it just a little bit. But I asked the lady that was sitting down if she could take a picture of us. And um, I love it. It's, of course, one of the only ones we have of all of us together. That's not a selfie type picture. Um, so I made it a full six by eight. And I thought of this idea to, to just use the inside of the cut file. Um, I did a little bit of ink blending. Of course, I love the oxides because... Um, you know of their fun properties you sprinkle some water and the oxide magic happens um, and then I also picked that pretty pretty bold black and white um, background but honestly I'm I'm so glad I did it it really really makes it work um, so yeah so I kind of did um, you know just a little bit off of the page so it, the whole cut file could be on both pages and I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out um, it actually um, it was hard to get it out of its you know the cut file so I um, I ripped it a few places so I wasn't sure how it was going to go to put it all back in but uh, and you know it's not perfect but you know what that's that's just part of paper crafts right it's just part of uh, doing it by hand so um so you could see I did my best I think I might need a new blade or maybe I should try sharpening it I don't know but um, some of the very tips of those fine corners cut it got a little bit jagged um, but that's okay you know me I just go with it and this was actually really fun to do like a puzzle um, once I got in the groove I was like man that'd be cool to make a full 12 by 12 so don't be surprised if I don't try that next time it is a super cute cut file it could be for any kind of uh, beach pictures and uh, I just love the idea of it. So you see it's kind of ratty. I don't know. But that's okay. I make it work. And then I try to piece it together without, <laughs> without the cut file. <laughs> Towards the very end. Because it just wasn't very helpful. Because it was so tattered. Um, but yeah. I gave it my best. Y'all. It's, it's just paper. It's okay. It's just paper. Um... And you know, for me, it's the picture, it's the whole album when it's finished. It's going to tell enough of a story. Um, hopefully nobody even notices. But, um, but it was a lot of fun to try. I hope, um, I hope you give this technique a try. And definitely, um, 
on an easier cut file if you're a little intimidated I think that would be a lot of fun some of those um, more simpler ones that we have in the shop I'm still fussing with those edges just let it go so now I trim it and have to put all that on the picture right so that it gets very interesting but um but I stick with it I stick with it and I love how it turned out um, and you could see the picture is a little smaller but the uh, yeah the six by eight album is actually not six by eight it's a little bigger as you could see which is fine, uh, what is it? It's a Simple Stories album. And uh, it's a yellow one. I thought that would be pretty for this trip. So there you go. I'm adding all the other pieces. I think I did okay. <laughs> if I could get it all to stick, my goodness. There you go. And you could see the um, the oxide in the ink. I, I love that. I love that. If you don't have any oxide, just grab, you know, your primary colors and give it a go. Uh, you could really make a lot of colors with just any of their yellow, any of the blue, any of the red. Um, it's just so much fun to mix those up. I do have the minis of the regular Distress Ink, but honestly, I don't reach for them. I rarely, rarely reach for them. So, of course, we got to use up some of this super cute ephemera. Um, I kind of have a few different ones open just right on my desk. Um, yeah, I know. So organized. But um, I think the ones on the left are um, like the journal bits I don't know I don't know I'm not gonna pretend I just open it all up and have it all out so I could see all the pretty things and make a decision I really like the umbrella and then of course we could have snorkeled if we wanted to but um, honestly we we were just having fun hanging out right right there right there in the sand when where the sand and the water meets my boys had a lot of fun I did too of course my wingman uh, doesn't really get in the ocean so he enjoyed it from afar that cute little um, sign sign ephemera was perfect and I wanted a little bit of the orange color at the bottom and I thought that Let's Play was a perfect little title. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please come join us in the Facebook group. I hope you're well. Take care. Bye-bye now.